costumes took all shapes and sizes throughout our area, but for second graders at one school, they had to think outside the box. SNN Local News 6 reporter Grant Boxleitner explains. Second graders at Pineview School gave new meaning to living in a box. That was the calling card for Monday's fall parade, and creativity came calling. That's King Kong. Empire State Building. Wow, that's big. How long did it take you to make this? Two days. Two days. As parents, students, and staff boxed in parade participants, a stop and go box, a popcorn box, and even a piano box wound their way around campus. Starting out with a box, and you're going to see such a wide variety of different ideas that they came up with from a piano to aquarium. Mike Napolitano pointed to grandson Gabriel's SpongeBob SquarePants as his favorite box. Others impressed him too. It was great. I tell you, the. Uh, uh, I saw the vending machine was superb. Third graders took a page out of a storybook for their costume characters, but as librarian Joe Davidsmeyer demonstrates. I'm the librarian here, and I have to do funny hats and anything to make the kids enjoy books. That's what we're here for. You don't have to be a child to spend the day in costume on Halloween. The staff at the counter of Delta Airlines at SRQ greeted passengers in various get-ups. <laughs> Halloween. It is. Fly Delta. Some of them have better outfits than I do. Because <laughs> it's Halloween. We're trying to entertain the public. <laughs> and we look funny. Reporting in Sarasota County, Grant Boxleitner, SNM Local News 6. Now, of course, many of the children you saw there will be among the trick-or-treaters tonight on the Sun Coast. The National Retail Federation estimates the average person spent about $72 this year on costumes, candy, and other decorations.